Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the start of a very exciting brand new recreation series. Uh, many of you will have followed along with my Alton Towers series that I completed a couple of months ago. Uh, if you haven't seen any of that, be sure to go and check out the whole park recreation. As you've seen from the video title, I am starting a brand new recreation park. This is going to be an island like no other. This is a recreation of Thorpe Park. In this first episode, I'm just going to be starting with sort of like a car park, park entrance, uh, and then heading into the dome, which is like the first sort of entrance building that has a few shops and restaurants in, etc. Um, so yeah, I mean, without further ado, let's uh, let's start by getting the park underway, and uh, yeah, and start seeing Thorpe Park come to life on Planet Coaster Console. Right then, we have made a uh, we've made a start to the park entrance. Um, I'll run you through some of these bits. So down here, we have uh, we have the little crossing for the guests to come out of. Um, now, obviously, the main car park at Thorpe Park does kind of go back quite a bit, uh, probably sort of over all the way over here for scale. Um, it does go back quite a bit. However, um, I'm going to struggle to fit this park on one map uh, as it is. Um, so I didn't want to take up too much room with the car park, but have enough of a car park to know that it's Thorpe Park and know the style of car park that it is. Um, they are gravel um, gravel spaces that you park on at Thorpe Park. Why is there a load of guests just stuck in a car? Uh, oh, that's why. Because I put the uh, yeah, I put I put that over there. That's why there's them over there. <laughs> That's why they're there. My bad. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, they're, they are gravel spaces uh, in thought in the car park at Thought Park. So that's what uh, that's what the you know the gravel areas represent. Um, but yeah, there's the little car park as we come around here. So essentially, when you come in, you would come down this left hand side just here. Um, you come down there and drive and go over to whichever bay you're directed to by the car park attendants. Um, and then, uh, as you come out, uh, you would go obviously down the other side. Uh, now, if we just uh, avoid all these guests for a second, um, if you go down here, there's a little drop-off section, um, and then there is uh, there's this little ticket centre just outside. Uh, this is like a guest information centre, sort of like a you know if you need any assistance, um, little building that they have out the front. Uh, he's just decided that he's too tired and he's going to stop working. Um, and he's just decided that he's going to walk through the barriers. Nice. So yeah, there's my uh, there's my little ticket centre. Um, I will try and put up one or two images so you can see what I've kind of based it off. And if I can during the series, I will try and do the odd sort of speed build. Um, it's not always the best thing to do speed builds for recreations because I am forever going back and forth between like the Google images that I've got to the side of me. Um, checking that I'm putting in something that looks right and so the speed build doesn't really come off that well because it's very stop start so but if I do you know if I do kind of uh, make something that I can use it I will obviously put that in uh, we have some rocks just around the uh, around the main entrance now as you come up to this uh, this is where the uh, Thought Park sign would be I've not made the Thought Park sign yet that is probably something I will come back to uh, but we have just got the entrance uh, you know, or, you know, sort of like the uh, the basic structure for the sign um, first. Then we have a little bag check just inside here. Uh, you stop there and go get your bags checked. Then you can buy your tickets if you haven't already from the uh, lovely ticket counters. Um, and then as you go into the main entrance building just here, we have all the turnstiles that you go and scan on to go through. Uh, we have a couple of adverts and posters. Uh, now, the, the Google images that I've been following, uh, I've been using Google Maps. Um, now, this has a load of suitcases stacked in this corner, so that's what I've gone for. Um, don't think that just looks random. That is actually what's there on Google, you know, on Google Maps anyway. Um, some more adverts over there, some more boxes. Welcome to the island, and then there's some park maps just there. As you come out of, of this sort of exit building, uh, you've, yeah, you've got the goodbye from the island there as well. As you come out from here, you go over sort of like a, a, an arching path that goes over the river uh, onto the island itself where Thorpe Park is. 
Uh, and then it's at this point that you reach the dome, which is the main entrance building that has, you know, has a gift shop, has one or two food outlets, has some arcade games. So that is going to be my next thing in this episode. Um, I'm not building the, the, like the river all the way around. I'm just going to do that as and when um, I make things just so I don't have to keep changing it. Um, so, yeah, that's the, that's the shape of the river for now. Um, I also need to get a janitor to empty that bin. Uh, but, yeah, that's uh, that's where I'm at. And I will now go and make the dome. Uh, and also I shall see you shortly uh, for that when I have completed it. And here we have the dome. Uh, so just before we look at the dome, we have the Shark Hotel down here. Now, I've not built the hotel as such. I've just built the pathway down to it. Uh, I will come back to that towards, probably towards the end of this map, um, just based, based upon whether or not um, there's enough room to, uh, to have that in there. But the pathway off to the hotel is in there anyway. Uh, then we get to the dome. Now, I appreciate this looks a bit bare at the minute just because there's nothing around here, but... Obviously, uh, that will all come with time and the viewpoints of all the rides and stuff. So, uh, yeah, do bear that in mind. Um, so, yeah, as we go into the dome just here, you'll see we have an arcade section. We have Finn's Bar and Grill over here where you can come in and take a seat and get something to eat. Uh, you can look at the view out onto the park just here. Lovely little view. Um, there's the Island Gift Shop, which is obviously closed at the minute. Definitely not because I uh, I, I I haven't put pieces behind here, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the Island Gift Shop is currently closed, and we have the Coffee Shack. Um, so yeah, this is generally uh, generally uh, you know the, what you'd find in the dome. There is a few little bits and bobs, um, but pre pretty much this is the uh, this is the vibe you get from inside. Now, one of the tricky things which uh, you may have spotted. Is the roof on this now that I the roof looks a little bit messy at some points from the outside now I've built circular roofs before um, using scenery pieces so for the for the uh, teacup slash barrel ride um, on my Alton Towers series uh, I used wooden uh, kind of wooden beams for that that works brilliantly however when you're using actual roof pieces it becomes extremely difficult to do that and considering the building isn't quite circular as well um, because the you know the entrance is is sort of flush it's you know it's quite square so um, because it's not circular as well makes it tricky so I appreciate from a bird's eye view it looks a little bit messy however I do think when you're inside here that it's it's a lot less you know it's a lot harder to, to tell that from from inside and my thought process is well most people are going to be inside this dome they're not going to be looking above it um there is glass just here by the way i haven't just left that you can see just here the glass uh, the glass panel um which is forming the light down there um but yeah I, my my thought process was most people will generally be inside it and therefore it won't be that much of an issue uh, so when you come out of here, uh, you can come to the right down here and go down this little walkway. When you get to the first aid centre, you get to the uh, information kiosk. You get to the dome. Uh, so down here there's toilets and lockers uh, where people can go down. And, um, and there is stairs that lead up to the dome inside there. Um, and then on Google Maps, this shop here, whatever this used to be, I don't know what it is now, but I'm using Google Maps, as I've said. Um, this just has the shutter down and there's no sign. So that's what I've done. I've put a shutter and no sign. Um, <laughs> so that is what we've got for the start of, uh, of Thought Park. I've got a little access building here. I forgot to say, if this Thrills Workshop. Um, this is like a mini access road area uh, down here. But, um, but yeah, that's what we've got for, uh, for our beginning of Thought Park. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed that. For the next episode, I believe, in my mind, I'm going to be going off towards uh, Depth Charge, which is going to be the first ride that goes in. Uh, it isn't going to be a ride that the guests can use, though, unfortunately, because there isn't a type of ride in this game that allows you to do that. So I'm going to have to get uh, a bit creative on that one. Um, so yeah, do uh, do stick around and follow along in this series as I go around making the entire Thought Park theme park. 
Uh, if you have enjoyed it, please do give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you are new. And other than that, I shall see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.